Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, we're gonna investigate um, one node in Spreadshop that I actually never use. It's called um, Vector Attractions. And this this guy, actually, the function of this node is actually kind of a little bit um, abstract unless uh, you actually use it and then you kind of know, okay, it's actually doing that. Let's say you have like a bunch of um, cylinder and then you have this uh, bunch of points and you want that each point to have some kind of uh, influence or some kind of attractions uh, into the cylinder. Um, yeah, so this is, you can see, like if I make the these points um, that made up of the circle kind of smaller, it gives that kind of effect. And if I scale it, it becomes like that. And I can actually use like a randomized input vertices and make just randomize the points of the circles and I get a, some kind of new design. And this is actually a function that's um, coming originally actually um, was from Grasshopper in a program called Rhino and it's for architecture uh, purpose and fair chalk uh, which means cricket in English, actually as like a kind of like an add-on that's kind of simulating grasshopper, and this um, vector attractions is very very powerful uh, in a way. Um, so I I have only play around with it. Um, if you select this nose and then you click on the online help, it will take you to this uh, documentations, and I think you have a read. On this documentation yourself and I will actually pick up one of the example which is this one and I will try to recreate it and try to make make sense of it um, using my own um, trial and error so okay so let's just get started from scratch I will be using just a plane um, I'll start with a plane inside Spreadshop and I will create a viewer and by default a plane is a simple plane if we grow the plane like 10 by 10 we have 100 points and then we have plane that um, grows in that section uh, we can center it easily so we have this plane centered and I want to start using the vector attraction so like the name says, this is some kind of vector that can attract other vector. It can be very useful. Um, I've maybe another word is more like a um, vector that can influence other vector. So this is free attraction demo 001. I'll save the blend. Um, I will be using the circle just like in the example documentations, a circle and vector attractions. So this is the original points of the plane. If we actually um, plug this vertices uh, vector output directly in there, and then we use the circle in here, what we get is something that looks like flower, I guess. Uh, and if I if I just use the edges, this can be like okay, that's kind of like a complete artwork, sort of. It's a bit uh, it's a little bit strange, but it gives some kind of effects already, and you can have like three three vertices and then increase it and scale, kind of scaling the circle. Uh, it gives that kind of effect, and you can play around with the amplitude, and then you can change this uh, fall off type. So it's very very interesting, and let me actually display the the points that's attracting the vector. So that's the points. I will use different color, make this larger. So that's the points that's, uh, that's influencing our plane. It doesn't need to be a plane. It can be like 3D object as well. I, I haven't used the 3D objects, but it, it will give all kind of um, interesting effects. So, okay, with the circle, as it is, it's just like a circle scaling. But we can use um, vector move, and we can move it, you know, in a, maybe in the z directions. So that I'm moving it in the z directions. 
so that's the effects I'm getting um, like so so I think that's that's already pretty cool I'll save this to a new version and I can scale the radius it's giving that kind of effects maybe play with the amplitude again so this is a lot of uh, trial and error I guess so that's already pretty interesting and let's say you can also do it in a um, in this fashion like if you use a vector move or maybe vector math um, I'll use vector math and just uh, add the original vertices and the ones after being attracted and influenced by the circle points you get you get something like this which is like a kind of like the opposite or something and here this with this guy you can move it in X and Y directions so you you have you can create like a under the carpet creature kind of effects um, and the fall off type we have five different fall off Gaussian each one of them has this uh, has parameters that you can play with Gaussian inverse inverse square cubic exponent oh, I think I will be using this one so yeah this is just a circle and you can increase the vertices you can also increase the resolutions with this guy maybe make this 0.5 so you can see more detail so that's uh, in the Z axis Y X and Y radius okay so it's already happening um, what else can we use this for like I said uh, we can use like a cylinder so you have this plane grid and we can use a cylinder and kind of instance the cylinder into the plane so this cylinder goes in there and this is the original plane grid goes into the matrices and so you have a lot of cylinder now and I'll make this shaded view and I'll make the cylinder a bit smaller 0 .0, 0 0.1 maybe so we have the cylinder and with the cylinder height we can control it from here and if we use the the co coefficient and not actually this yeah this factor or coefficients from vector attraction this guy can go into the cylinder and have the effects the vertices can be a little bit smaller we don't need that much of detail 5 so we have this um, what is it hexagon hexagon is 6 okay just make it 6 hexagonal cylinder being influenced by the points of the circle and thanks to this uh, factor, factor attractions we can have this kind of uh, interesting design so I will hide this this guy now we just have the cylinder let's play with the amplitude um, increasing the amplitude doesn't give much difference maybe the coefficient okay change the position of the circle maybe make the circle larger or smaller um, what else yeah I think this effect is more interesting with the uh, with the instance objects But of course, it's not just limited to to do this kind of thing. This is like a super basic demo example.
that's controlling the height of the cylinder but maybe we can use other objects you know like uh, maybe just a box so this box um, maybe size can be affected by this coefficient and we can use math with a multiplier so you can sort of see the effects sometimes that's uh, what you need uh, for I don't know maybe for architecture or design purpose more or less the effects I found it's uh, similar to animation nodes um, offset I'm using a small value here so I'll move the circle points up and down play around with the radius and what else maybe even play with this degree see that's kind of nice 60 let's improvise, uh, do a little bit of improvisations in you uh, use a different formula here okay that's a little bit more feasible uh, unlike the cylinder box doesn't have uh, control over the height but you can always use uh, vector scale actually scale I think oh actually not vector scale um, yeah I forgot I just don't worry about it so let's see what else we can do with this whoops 0 0.089 amplitude 40 turn off clamp okay turning off clamping maybe giving a more interesting result by turning off the clamp I think the value kind of goes uh, into unlimited so Gaussian, okay, inverse exponent, inverse cubic, inverse square. I found that inverse minus 1 divided by R is usually the one that's um, kind of the most visible. This is also, I, I found kind of similar to Blender's um, dynamic paint so I, I kind of like this design it's, uh, it's the most interesting because we can see this is 10 vertices we can make it smaller like 3 vertices and we get this uh, totally different design and increasing the points we get eventually we get like a circle uh, not too many because it might be slow so 12 circles and this cube is being affected uh, let's see I think the scale I'll try scale again kind of curious Uh, no, it's not the scale. It's the oh, let me check vector. What else we can do with vector in out math fractal? If we influence the circle using vector noise, maybe we get interesting design, different pattern.
So that's the effects of circle going into the noise. Might needs to might need to increase the the size. And now this goes in there. Yeah, slightly more interesting so we have some kind of uh, abstract looking noise influencing our boxes um, even though I, I really want to make to control the height of the boxes um, yeah I think suddenly my brain is blank I can't remember how to scale the box I think it was the scale hmm So anyway, this is um, like the basic um, demo of this uh, spectral vector attractions. It's kind of like I said, it's kind of similar to dynamic paint, where you have like uh, you have the paint and the canvas, and you can influence um, surface of objects using the paint. And also similar to animation nodes, delay and offsetting, but it's affecting uh, more on the surface of objects while with animation nodes it's all about the motions affecting the motions with sphere chalk it's more about affecting the the mesh surface and polygon polygon data so yeah um, I guess this uh, this is pretty much it for this um, quick demo hopefully it's useful for you let me know what you think maybe I have something that I missed that uh, you want to add, just let me know. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.